Welcome to Educational Sourdough Series, video number one. Thank you so much, everyone, for sending all the, your questions and your biggest challenge. I'm going to address the first two today. So let's begin with Marina. She asked me uh, um, more information about the Stara. So her um, biggest challenge is the sourdough Stara. So these little bacteria, they are like little humans, survive, they will need energy. And their source of energy is uh, uh, carbohydrates. Flour is the main component, it's 80% made up of carbohydrates, so what they need, flour and uh, water, because when you combine uh, the, uh, the water with the flour, you make the carbohydrates available for them, okay? So in order to survive this bacteria, they need food, right? So ideally, you want to keep them alive, uh, giving them food. So my method is no feeding every single week, but I do neglect the stara until I need to make bread as far as I don't go over a month, okay? So that's uh, uh, my method. In this way, you won't have this card issue. You won't have so many wasting, okay? And uh, you will need to cope with the issue of having weak bacteria if you left them in the fridge for more than a month or three weeks or two weeks. After a week, they will start become weak. How they gain the energy back, all right? So giving them fresh food in the form of uh, water and flour. I highly suggest always to keep a small amount of sourdough stara in the fridge, like 100 grams. I always have 100 grams of sourdough stara. When I need it, I'm going to give them the food that they need for making my recipe. What I call feed what you need. If I need the 360 grams of sourdough stara for making my bread, I'm going to add 180 water, 180 flour. And that's uh, if I've been leaving them one week, ideally. So they will double in volume and then I start using them. If they've been uh, left in the fridge for longer than uh, a month uh, or three weeks or two weeks, uh, you can't expect from them to double in volume after this certain amount of time. So you will need to feed them a um, small amount and wait for them to double in volume. Also, if you're leaving them in the fridge uh, for a long time, two, three, one month, they will be acidic because the fermentation, if even if it's low, it will go ahead. So it will be 100 grams of very acidic stara. You won't be able to use it because acid will ruin the gluten. So what you need to do in this case, if you've been leaving your stara one month in the fridge, highly suggest to discard 90%. So pretty much all of it, leaving behind just the leftover in the jar. And then you will give back the feed that you've been discarding. Like for example, you got 100 grams, you get rid of all of it, you have 10 grams left in the jar, you will be feeding back 50, 50, 50 water, 50 flour. I highly suggest to use certified organic flour, high extraction is better, and the 50% whole grain, 50% baker's flour. I personally use Kayala, which is a great brand uh, and uh, works best for me. But anyway, that's what you want to give. You discard 90% and feed it back. You wait a few hours, you see how they are. If they double in volume, great. If they don't, after four, five, six hours, they means that they weak. So you will discard. The second step is to discard 50% and replace the same amount you've been discarding. In this way, you will have always a strong starter without having a so much discard because you always uh, you only feed when you need only when you want to bake okay so don't feed every single week for the sake of keeping them alive because you're going to face the issue of having a lot of wasting and uh, another commitment in your life which we are all busy so we don't want another commitment okay so we want to make it as easy as possible to start the journey so hope this video uh, answer your question if you want to dive deep uh, more into sourdough stara i offer a free course uh, on my website it's called free sourdough stara course eight days email and it will go very deep i'll teach you how to make from scratch even if you already made your sourdough stara, I highly suggest to go through the emails because it's gonna give you some troubleshooting, some advice and more. I hope this video answer your question. If not, Marina, please come back, write back and I will explain even more, all right? I'll see you on the second uh, uh, explanation. See you, ciao belli.